Today, we are joined by Ben Crawford, CEO of Central Nick. Hello, Ben. Delighted hey, to join us and look forward to talking to you about your Q3 results. Um, would you first care to you know, briefly introduce Central Nick to those who don't know it already? Of course. Uh, so, so Central Nick is a company largely in the domain name uh, business. So we uh, operate at various different parts of the domain name supply chain supplying uh, uh, the domain names that are used for email, internet addresses, and which a lot of large companies view as the equivalent of online trademarks. And then lastly, domain investors uh, buy and trade in domain names and take advantage of the fact that domain names generate traffic on the internet as well. And so then the second part of our business is a monetization business which basically uh, places advertising on domain names and in other areas of the internet in order to generate money through through uh, online advertising and marketing. Uh, we're, we're, we've made uh, uh, 14 acquisitions all up since we IPO'd back in 2013. And so have roughly doubled in size each year since then. Uh, with the exception of one year. Um, and yeah, you, you've just announced your Q3 results. Um, I'd love it if you could provide a, a short summary of, of the highlights from those results. Happy to, yes. So, so uh, as mentioned, we, we've made quite a lot of acquisitions, but we also have some very healthy organic growth. Uh, as far as our, our, our overall growth, our revenue for the first nine months of this year uh, was $168.5 million, uh, which firstly, it's up 118% over the first nine months of last year. And in fact, if you added our, uh, our full year last year and full prior year together, you'd find that the number was lower uh, than what we did in the first nine months. So, so, so we're seeing a, a very pleasing growth there. We've also, however, done a, um, uh, the exercise of uh, doing a pro forma constant currency adjusted uh, accounts as well in order to be able to measure what the organic growth is underlying that. Obviously, when you make so many acquisitions, it can be very difficult to understand that. And happily, our organic growth year on year is 17%. And so um, uh, we're very pleased with that. Uh, probably, obviously, the other key thing is that our um, our, our uh, adjusted EBITDA number is $22 million for the first nine months of this year, which is an increase of 68% year on year. Uh, lastly, our, our net debt figure was 44, almost $45 million. We have a bond uh, issued in Norway, which uh, represents uh, 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 more than that debt because also at the end of that period, at the end of September, we were holding $63 million in cash. Um, of that uh, money, we very rapidly, uh, at, uh, one month later, actually spent uh, uh, about 67 million of that, oh, sorry, 37 of the 63 million on an acquisition in Poland. And that acquisition was CodeWise. Um, it, you know, this, Correct. Would love to hear a bit more about how how that acquisition has gone, and um, you know, how 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 you have integrated the the, the, the acquisition into the group. Absolutely, um, it's it's a company that we discovered at the at the end of last year. Um, what we, we'd obviously heard, uh, uh, knew of them by reputation, but we found that the, there was a potential to acquire the company. Uh, we were in discussions all for the first half of the year and then were able to close the deal. We actually did an equity raise and uh, which we, which was um, very largely oversubscribed, which which clearly shows a lot of confidence in the company. And we were able to um, bring on some very significant uh, uh, new investors, new uh, new new institutions onto the register at that time. Uh, the, the, the deal was, um, closed exactly to the minute that we had, uh, that we had, uh, projected that we would be completing. 
and uh, and the company is performing very well. During during the due diligence process, we had the opportunity to study it under the conditions of COVID, and found that um, it was performing uh, it was performing strongly even compared to year prior, which is obviously uh, um, uh, something that 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 few companies really can say at the moment. Uh, the team are excellent. They're based in Krakow in Poland. Um, very strong development team with lots of exciting new products um, and and features uh, uh, on their on their uh, on their plan. And uh, I'd say the the early stages of integration have actually gone extremely smoothly. We couldn't be happier. Wonderful. Um, and yeah, del delighted to hear that's going so well. Um, and sort of as, as part of that answer, you 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 also sort of talked or touched on COVID nineteen. Um, I'd be very interested to hear about how that is impacting the performance of the group overall, not just code-wise. Of course. Um, well, look, we're, uh, we're very lucky that um, our, our business has been uh, not affected negatively by COVID-19. Um, we've had a couple of uh, cases among our staff, but happily uh, everyone is, is back at work now. Uh, we because we consider our business to be a um, uh, 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 crucial infrastructure for the internet, we had a lot of very strong business continuity plans already in place. We were able to very rapidly have everyone globally working from home prior to it becoming a requirement anywhere, which, which, which happily meant that there was no spread of COVID between our staff. Uh, all of our um, businesses are online, our entire supply chain is online, and so that has meant that's been unaffected, and actually demand for, um, for some of our services has actually been extremely strong uh, for our wholesale business and our monetization business uh, uh, growth has been, has been unexpectedly high. Uh, for our corporate related business, um, it's been a little bit uh, behind, but that is exactly to be expected because as we all know, most of the large companies around the world have had a policy this year of um, slowing down discretionary spending and trying to hold on to as much cash as possible. So we view this more as a delay in spending rather than a change in spending patterns that will have a long term effect. But overall, as you've heard, our, uh, our, our revenue growth has been uh, exceptionally good at 17% year on year. And, uh, and, and our profitability has continued to grow as well. Well, Ben, it's, it's uh, wonderful to hear, uh, you know, hear about a business thriving in this environment. So Ben Crawford, CEO of Central Nick, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Richard.